Yeah. Yeah. You actually feel about. tired. He mm-hmm. never, he never sleeps. <laughs> yeah. You can go two, two days sometimes yeah. not sleeping with yeah. pain. So the sympathetics actually have to do with uh, the pineal gland, production of melatonin. Think about melatonin, right? He takes melatonin every day. Uh-huh. Symp- I want you to go Google that. Go look at sympathetic inputs, pineal gland, melatonin. Did he just say again? You're going to start seeing that there's a... Now, you may have to dig deep, like PubMed, Google Scholar. You probably won't necessarily find it in Google. But my point being, um, the sympathetics actually control um, some of the, of the sleep stuff. Can you say that? Pineal gland. P-I-N-E-A-L. Sympathetic nervous system, pineal gland, melatonin. Okay, so there's a link between the autonomic nervous system, which is half of its sympathetic, and melatonin production. So right now, you feel totally like you're wore out. You're like, man, I could, I'm so relaxed. You could crash right now, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Because there's something inhibiting production I don't know, fully understand the physiology, but I know there's a relationship. So a lot of times when I do my bite stuff, there's a similar, oh my God, I'm nodding off. I'm so tired. It feels so great. So does the trigeminal nerve have something to do with that? I've never run across that in an article. But I can run across the article where the sympathetics are related to the pineal and the melatonin thing. If you look deep in the medical, like endocrinology literature, which is medical stuff, and I'm a dentist, right? Well, why the hell is it happening when I'm working on teeth? Because the teeth have got something to do with sympathetics. But no one's talking about it. So I start my teaching center and I try to throw videos up like this that help slap around a few dentists that are smart enough and care enough to try to learn this stuff. 